Well, we want to transition now to the unrest in Haiti as the situation there worsens. The country is essentially under martial law right now. The country was scheduled to hold elections later this year, but that seems very much in doubt right now. And both the United Nations and the White House still maintain elections are the country's best option. CBS 4's Jim DeFeedy spoke to Haiti's ambassador to the United States about that and more. Do you actually believe that you could hold elections amid all the security concerns? I believe the United States Congress supported elections in Iraq and Afghanistan, where the security situation is even worse than Haiti. And what we have in Haiti is not a civil war. What we are in Haiti is our gangs. We have a gangs problems. What we are seeking for now is to get more equipment, more means for the national police, so they can fight the gangs and they can root them out. Those are, those are our problems. Our problem is the gangs issues. It's not a civil war we have. How should President Moise be remembered? He should be remembered as a, a very a patriotic guy who loves his country, who has, who has worked very uh, deeply, particularly for the rural areas, for the forgotten. Uh, uh, that's the way he should be remembered, as a guy of vision. He wanted, he wanted a lot of fame for his country, but unfortunately, uh, it seems he was misunderstood. But uh, one of his legacy was to bring the state to the forgotten, leave the capital, and go to the countryside, to the rural areas, those people who've never seen electricity since the independence of the country. He gave them electricity, he gave them a way to understand. They also have a right as a citizen. That's the way it should be remembered. You, you said he was misunderstood by many. He was disliked by many as well. Uh, why do you think that was? But listen, this is politics. Uh, you, in any country, politicians or presidents or prime ministers or ministers, uh, you, are, you, 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 you are loved by, by many, but you are loved and you know, disliked by many as well. So that's the dynamic of democracy. That's the beauty of democracy. Uh, you, you cannot expect that everybody to love you. Uh, but therefore, the most important thing is, even though you don't, they don't care you, you have to consider all of them as citizens and you are the president of everybody. And that's the way he considered himself, even though there are certain people who didn't like him, but he always said that I'm the president of all Haitians. You, you may not be loved by everybody, but to be assassinated takes it to a different level. I come back to the, to the question, I know that you're hesitant to try to respond, but I do want to try to get some understanding. Why do you believe he was killed? That's, that's, that's the same answer I'll give you. I'll give, I say that I don't want to speculate over the investigation, and one. And secondly, that it was uh, known by President has some political enemies. But now the investigation will share the light on this. But that's why I don't want to speculate. I don't want to go forward. But uh, uh, let us wait for the investigation. Hopefully, those in custody will be able to, uh, to, to talk to the police and the investigation will go on and we know exactly what happened. And you can see much more of Jim's interview with the U.S. Ambassador to Haiti on Facing South Florida. That's tomorrow morning, 1130, following Face the Nation on CBS4.